Quavon Skeins and Art Tompkins back deep for the Huskies. And toe has met leather. This one hangs a little bit and allows Tompkins from the five. And he'll get just outside the 20 yard line, and Connecticut will take over from there for Navy. And it's a pitch instead to Miles Fells. And Connecticut strings it out beautifully for a loss. Sticks, and now they're in advantage UConn, which is about to change. Well, this time they go the other way with Taj Malloy, and he's going to be shoved out of bounds. Some type of run blitz. And UConn certainly selling it. Perry's going to keep it. Going to be a first down and spins away. And this is the dynamic Malcolm Perry. He'll score. Touchdown, midshipman. Wide open again, getting behind the defense. That's Hairston to the 15 of the 10-yard line, and this time they hit the big play. That's Ross in motion. They fake it to him. Zergiotis will dump it off instead to Tompkins, who's got room to get to that pylon, and he did. Touchdown, Huskies. And it's Mensa. Got a good block. Mensa will get a first down and plenty more. Still going. He gets about 26 before Kevin Brennan finally got him down. Sergiotis on third and seven. Fagel putting the pressure on. He lobbed it back into traffic and it's intercepted. Perry on the keeper. He'll get it. He'll get more. Inside the 35 before he is tripped up. Oh, Malcolm Perry. He's going to take his shot. That's P.I. That's a tackle. That's a touchdown saving tackle right there. <laughs> Watch Robert King here. He said, hey, look, you're not scoring on, on me today, Ryan Mitchell. Carruthers. Touchdown. Navy. One football player to watch, not big, 6'1", 206, but he can bring it. Sergiotis had to hang in there, and he finds the tight end. Jay Rose open across the field. Great job by the UConn freshman QB to hang in there. Now Tompkins, and he finds a hole, and Tompkins will get to the 26-yard line again. Kevin Brennan, number 10. Look at this up here. Watch it. And Sergiotis sees it, gets away. And got back to the line of scrimmage. Cromarty had a clean shot at him and couldn't finish off Sergiotis. You see, redshirt freshman kicker. This would be from 40, his long this season, 43. Made that look easy. In the run game, but it makes him susceptible to the pass. And Perry's going to keep, going to break one tackle, going to break another one, and lunge for the first down. Field. 0 for 3, and two of them, as you mentioned, drop. Fourth pass attempt, Perry getting loose. He'll improvise. He'll play off his own blockers, and he will cover the football and get the first down again. You saw the center get out so quickly. Here's a pitch to Fells. Fells first down inside the 15, and Fells will be stopped just shy of the 10-yard line. Can't get on schedule. Perry the pitch. To the five, and oh, is he in? Did Taj Malloy get the touchdown? No, he did not. He's going to be ruled out of bounds. He stretches the ball, but his left foot is out there, and the ball is on the one. I think it's a good call. On the left, next to O.J. Davis, 86. They go to the right. Nelson Smith standing up. Touchdown, midshipman. Mensa stays into the tailback. Five seconds to get the snap off. Here comes pressure. It's blocked well, though, and it's intercepted, and it's Perkins again. This time he hangs on. He'll get an eight-yard run back before he's brought down by Christian Haynes. Perry again dropping back to pass. Has time. Going to take a deep shot down the middle. Man open. Touchdown, Navy. Michael Cooper. Sergiotis fires and he's got an open man, Elijah Jeffries, and Jeffries breaking tackles and gets inside the 20-yard line before Farrar gets him down. A big opportunity for UConn to finish strong in the half. Sergiotis is going to roll. He's going to have to improvise. He's going to get sacked and lose the football. 
Navy recovers it. Now that's a friggin' disaster right there. Sheer for watch number one. They're trying to get a they're trying to get the, the tight end throwback. You watch the <laughs> over a thousand yards rushing already this year for Barry. He'll hand it off this time and Nelson Smith rumbling. It's the foot race. Can they catch Smith? 15. He knows they're coming and he gets stopped finally all the way down to the three yard line. Rob King and Tyler Coyle went as fast as they could to catch up to Nelson Smith. Yards of over 20. There are 27 plays of over 20 yards. Perry carries the defender into the end zone behind Smith, who got him there in the first place. A lot less patience now for teams that are trying to build. We know Randy can do it. He's done it before. Nice ball. Was he in bounds on the catch? No. Uh, Hairston could not get that foot down. And this is historic. <laughs> Perry comes out pitching. And it is caught. Tackle broken by Taj Malloy, and he rips down the sideline, and he's bouncing off of Connecticut defenders and gets inside the 40-yard line. Gonna, who's going to give up a little bit? And, and they're studying this as coaches. And Perry, you see he faked out the one defender, and that was a almost a touchdown-saving tackle by Tyler Coyle, but Perry will get another first down with a 15-yard pickup. And they go back to... Traditional Navy football, nobody home to stop. Jamal Carruthers, an easy touchdown for the midshipman of 23 yards. A real commitment to this offense. Well done. Thank you, by the way, to the UConn equipment staff for donating the football. Very appreciative to that. I think he might have gotten a foot down there, and that is the call. Had nine catches last week at the win over UMass. And that's a good job there by Zergi Otis to dump it off here to Art Tompkins. And that'll be another first down. And again, build on this drive if you're their coaching staff. However, it's fourth down. Going for it all. And it is. Well, that would have been a good throw in high school in Montreal, but not here in East Hartford in college. It's goalkeeping. So I'm sure Jimmy will land on his feet somewhere else very shortly. In the meantime, Malcolm Perry got to get right after the throw is caught. And this is going to be a big play for Ryan Mitchell. Is a flag down. Mitchell broke the, through the defense. The foot race to the end zone. Mitchell will get dragged down inside the five. Again by Tyler Coyle. Right back to the middle. Back to Carruthers. You see the lower leg strength by Carruthers. He's in the end zone again, and so is Navy. We have a new quarterback in Perry Olsen for the Naval Academy. There's not a deep pole in America. <laughs> Out of a yard, but I don't think that's true. That's too simple. And in the meantime, Perry Olsen, a freshman from Yukon, Oklahoma. Make it a yard go. I think, and I believe that was name was chosen by the fans. Justin Smith with the carry. Drives. Uh, you think about UCF and you think about, oh, oh what a great block by man. King L there on Justin Smith's carry. Navy will keep the football going for it there. Eighth in South Bend before, and that is going to be followed by maybe the biggest game of the year. Out say enough about him. So much respect. Navy is at 400 and now if he gets in the end zone, 401 rush yards. It is a touchdown for Perry Olsen, the quarterback. I think Navy, you know what I think Navy's going to be doing Saturday? Studying. <laughs> well, that too. Of course. But they are, they, their bye week will begin in less than two minutes on the play clock. Phone, which you're not supposed to do, and they got it on TV, and Joe Horn oh. made a big deal of it, and I ended up getting fined because of Joe Horn. Love Joe Horn, but I'm still going to, I'm going to hold that against him a little bit. All right, Joe, you owe Coach a couple bucks, uh, I think, at the very least for that. So the teams are going to meet at midfield. This is going to be in the win column for the Naval Academy. They go to 7-1, and 5-1 and one in conference play. Win 94 for Ken Niamatololo, and Connecticut drops to 2-7 and seven and 0-5. And Season highs tonight for Navy in total yards, 573. Passing yards, 165. They average just over 10 yards per play.